Good evening, dandies. Welcome to Undetermined, the podcast. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi, guys. Welcome to Undetermined, the podcast. Special guest tonight. Uh, Returning guest. uh, Renaissance man. The Prince of Doom, if you will. Uh, Tony Willis yeah. from Forbidden Place Records. Yeah. What's going on, man? More, man? You got a lot of projects going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got a lot going on right now. Um, How you been, man? Good. Long time no no talk to you guys. I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of surprised it? it's been as long as it has. Two years or something since I last talked to you guys. Has it been yeah. that long? Yeah. Yeah, Probably. I think so. Wow. Um, was you and yeah, but, Maybe, maybe. Yeah, um, you guys have had some cool guests on, too. Like, a lot of diverse people. I was yeah, we need to get it. back to it. We've kind of had a little hiatus. Yeah. For lots of just bullshit reasons, life reasons. Right. Yeah. But, uh, You're familiar yeah. with those. <laughs> well, <it's, laughs> It seems like the last six months have been high drama for the world. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, yeah. There's been something yeah. to that. Like it just feels like, oh, we need to get back to it, and then something else comes up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, well, it's a new year, so you know. But um, yeah, it's our first <laughs> yeah. one of the new year. Is it? Yeah, it Yay. is. Yeah. Oh. Happy New Year! Happy yeah, year, cool. Buddy. You guys Happy too. That's great. Yeah, we got to hang out for New Year. That was fun. Yeah, it was a good time. That was a good time. Except for all the automatic gunfire. Um, <laughs> what? Oh, there was people shooting automatic? Wow. Oh, oh yeah. There was a, yeah. It's it was, like, it was a little creepy. Yeah. I, you know, like, piss, it used to be just a pistol, you know. Right. It, you weren't even sure. It could have been a bottle rocket or something. But Right. Or a little, no, no, no. <laughs> wow. Uh, not in Kansas well. City. It was like that. Is a high velocity round. It's a yeah. That, it's you like, know, I've heard that sound so many times. I know that. Wow. It's like that is a two twenty three. It's like a you know an AK or an AR or whatever. Just we. Uh, so happy my, midnight. My question <laughs> is, where do the bullets go? Mm, I think one of them hit his roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's probably one on my roof. Who knows? Probably. You know, can you imagine? You're just like having <laughs> drinks with your friends out in your back porch or something. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, you. Know, Someone just, I'm sure it's happened. So just a oh, bullet yeah. out of nowhere. Just, you yeah. know. I mean, Matt, did you yeah. hear about that case in Kansas City of those uh, three people? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that died. They froze to death or whatever, you know. Yeah, and they don't really mystery. know. I'm, I don't know that much about it. Like, honestly, I've kind of avoided it because it's just too fucking it's depressing. A, yeah, it's a sad story. But it's but like, like the, oh. the headline pops up all over the place. So, mm. I can't, like, osmosis, I'm still kind of taking in the story but yeah like three friends all chiefs fans have been watching the game together and then um they're found dead on like the porch or something of it frozen to death yeah yeah and there's no like sign of foul play <clears throat> wow I don't know. it was during well, an extremely cold game though wasn't it that yeah i mean it's been really fucking cold here today is well, like nice yeah. exception to the rule yeah but it's been nasty cold. Same, same here. We got a bunch of snow here. Um, yeah, like eighteen inches or something. Oh, God, oh, holy shit! Yeah, it wouldn't Keep stop it up there. Yeah, no yeah, thanks. it just wouldn't wouldn't stop coming down. It got freaky there. I was like, okay, <laughs> I just quit shoveling it. I just didn't. You yeah, know, I don't even know what to do with this anymore. I left Denver for this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah. So. You're gonna make a movie. Yes, we're yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, this yeah. is a really cool idea. Um, yeah, this, you know, we did we did the Ricardo and Friends little one minute shorts, and we mm-hmm. we're doing you know we'll do those for a band to sell some records for Forbidden Place Records. You know, I own that with Kale Brogeman, and um, we're, we're doing those commercials, and people are like, hey, you know. You should do a full episode and stuff. And yeah, I love the shorts. Yeah. Love yeah. them so much. Love the little characters. And yeah, it's uh, you and know, cool artwork too. Bong yeah. smoking werewolves and shit. 
You know what? That's that's our artist, Anastasia Rodina. Um, oh wow, she's incredible work. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's a Russian artist. She's uh, she's young. I don't want to say her age, but mm-hmm. <laughs> she's right. really young, and it's like crazy because she is so good, hmm. and her standards are super high. It's you know she, she has the attitude of someone who's been doing it for like. 30 years and just like, I'm not dealing with shit, you know? Um, right. So she can tell good. that. Yeah. I've, <laughs> she's, I've seen like amateur shit and it's like, you know, when the lights a little bit off and a flicker and stop motion, you know, yeah. or something, you know, like, you know, you know, she doesn't have those problems. She's no, no, those. no. Like, yeah, she's, yeah. she's really good at details and creating an overall feeling and stuff, you know, uh-huh. like, I created those, you know, I created those characters. Oh, I cre- created Ricardo. He's kind of our, you know, he's our logo for our label. Yeah, he's a yeah. Vampire, you know, half vampire guy. He lives in the underworld. You know, he meets this guy named Werewolf Gary, who's a, like a big, like gay werewolf guy. <laughs> and, I love Werewolf uh, Gary. He's my you know, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I love Werewolf Gary too. Mm-hmm. And then we have a new character coming in called Agatha, who's going to be Ricardo's love interest. And she's mm. she's of the like undead. She was born in the Victorian era, and her her arm comes off. Anyways, her arms at Ricardo's apartment, so she's looking for it. So she ends up there. That's wow. kind of how it all. all right. You got a plot outline and everything. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got a script, and you guys, we've got some really cool um, people doing voiceovers. Um, mm-hmm. We have Al Johnson from um, you know Shorty and U.S. Maple, some nineties. Um, they're on Skin Graft Records, mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, and a couple other labels. Um, so he's he's gonna be the voice of Werewolf Gary. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna you know do the voice of Ricardo. Um, and then we have um, Laurel Springlemeyer who's gonna do the voice of Agatha. She's a Little Scream. Um, she puts records out on Merge, and she's done a bunch of cool stuff. She's in she does writes for films, um, you know, like film scores and songs for films uh-huh. and all that stuff. But she's going to be um, the voice of Agatha. And then we've got some other characters. Um, you know, we've got this senile um, uh, wizard um, called, his name is Merv, the dark wizard. And he's like a senile drunk wizard that sleeps in the woods. Anyways. Mm. I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up if you need more voices. That yeah. sounds like fun. That'd be so, all method. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you got. So we're trying to like. We're trying to raise money for the film right now. We're trying to raise seven thousand dollars. Yeah. Now these tiers are really cool, though that you're yeah. offering. Um, yeah. I mean, I made a little donation on behalf of Matt and I. I, um, I saw and that. Thank you, you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And I mean, you can do that as well. You don't have to do these tiers, but tell everybody the tiers because they're they're really neat. Yeah. So the first there's the first one is uh, you can get a signed script by me and some of the actors in the film. Mm-hmm. Second one is a T-shirt and a signed script, and b- both of these you'll be mentioned in the film at the end. You're like made possible by um, uh-huh. for your donation. Um, and then the third one is, of course, the mention, uh, the script, a T-shirt, and a poster. And the T-shirt and poster are designed by Steven Yoyada. He's a really cool, like, heavy metal um, artist guy. These designs are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then we have a third tier, which is we actually, you know, build a character that in your, you know, in your image. Um send us a photo of yourself and we'll build that character. Oh, of course it'll be a little bit stylized. Um, sure. To, to fit into the film. The, well, right. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but you know, like one or t- one or two scenes in the film and we'll, you know, design your character. And then the, the fifth tier is like everything. It's all in, you get the shirt, the signed script, the poster and a character in the film. And we've actually sold, um, we sold four of these. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we've already sold four and there's three left. Um, there's, you know, uh, and I think the tiers are a uh, hundred, 
50, 100, 200, I think 375, and then 500 for the, the all in. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's expensive to make a damn movie. Yeah. It's but some of the people, expensive. yeah, it is expensive. So this is stop motion. It takes forever. We're, we're hand building the sets. There are some computer generated background some cgi stuff not a True. ton more atmosphere the most of the you know all everything's like hand handmade we're trying to like you know just make it our thing our own <clears throat> you know that's why i was saying stylized it's just got that eastern european kind of magical forest <laughs> yeah Feeling yeah, to the I, whole, it's awesome, you know. I I think for yeah for for what you're doing, it lends to it. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah, um, it's you know it's we so I've been working on on the script and character development is huge. You know, um, we're, we're bringing in the wizard. We have this guy named Dead Ed. Kale's gonna do his. He's like a zombie with like half of his brain exposed. <laughs> um, We've mm-hmm. got uh, Larry Treadwell from Tojo Yam- Yamamoto. He's going to be doing the um, Vincent the Crow voice. Uh-huh. Um, oh well, we, we my friend Todd is is going to be doing the um, Todd Mealy's going to be doing the um, wizard voice. That that scene's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, but the the so like the um, the music kind of the music through the whole thing to to set the mood. Um, is uh, Tad Doyle is doing that from Oh Hulk. sweet. Yes. He's going to be just doing all of the I guess incidental music you could say. Uh-huh. You know, lots of synthesizers nice. and cool stuff. He does a lot of electronic stuff now that I love. So I was like, "Hey, you know, do you want to do this?" He said, "Yeah." And then the other cool thing, the theme song, um I wrote so I wrote the theme song, Kale and I are going to play that and then um we're uh getting Elwood Francis from ZZ Top to help us. He plays bass in ZZ Top. So he's going to play guitar on it. And he's cool and he's open to it. And we just, we kind of want a Frank Zappa style theme song. How, yeah. How do you get to this? Like, that's, that's, I, I want to know the story of, oh, yeah, I just got, uh, you know, Ted Doyle, <laughs> well, the ZZ Top yep. guy to get on board. <laughs> you know, because, like, just, I think with Forbidden Place, Oh, it opens a lot of doors. You know, we we mm. released that the Cronkman album, and um, <clears throat> we, th- you know, Tad was mixing that, and I emailed him a few times, and he said it was cool if I called him. So we talked, and um, you know, became um, you know friends. And I was just like, hey, you know, do you want to do this? I I want your name on it. I think you'll. Cause he's done some other kind of animated like videos and stuff and music. I was like, you've kind of already, you know, done this already. And, mm. uh, what you do want to do it? And he's, he was totally in. So, um, you know, I couldn't, and you know, he wouldn't be mad. I couldn't afford Danny Elfman. Like I probably would have went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think Chad would be mad if I said, if I yeah. said that. But, no, I'm just kidding. I, I actually thought of him like, because he was doing the synthesizer stuff. I'm like, this is perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, he can, uh, you know, he can do this. And, you know, he's like, he does mixing. He's got Witch Ape Studio. He records, he mixes. I mean, this this dude is like really, really good. He went to school for, I think, like recording. I think he has a recording engineer degree. Right on. He wasn't, you know, really a lumberjack guy. He was like high intellect. <laughs> right. <laughs> Student. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, you know, and then like meeting Elwood was to- Tojo Yamamoto. We put out their album and he's in that mm-hmm. band. So I started to talk with him and, and he was, you know, he was in and Al is my friend. He lives not too far from here. He lives just across the bridge in Iowa. Mm-hmm. And then my friend Laurel, she's been a recording artist for a long time. And I've just, you know, she's from Galena. I've just kind of known her as an acquaintance and then kind of reached out to her. And so she's, yeah, that's how I, that's how I've kind of met these people through the label really, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a great label, man. Um, it is. I've, I've said it before. Uh, I'll say it again. I mean, there's not a bad act um, on forbidden place. Everybody should just go check out the website, get their shit in band camp, get their shit wherever you can. What's it, what's the best place for it? 
Well, Bandcamp is good. Uh, we give yeah. you know we give away stuff all the time, free codes. You know, we have a YouTube page that plays videos, kind of like mm-hmm. MTV style. Um, we have Instagram and we have everything. Facebook, Forbidden Place Records. Um, I can I'll I'll have I'll send over a link where we would, like our link tree and people can pick and choose on there. But um, the Indiegogo is where we have Ricardo and friends right now. I'll send that link to you yeah, guys too. Um, yeah, if you sign yeah. up for the uh, uh, newsletter and stuff, or if you just sign up uh, for any following of, of Forbidden Blaze, you guys will get plenty of codes. Oh my gosh, um, all the time! Yeah, yeah. Like codes all the time. I feel bad um, because it's hey, like man, we, here's another download: free music, free music, free music. No, we, you know, we <laughs> we have <laughs> like um, a lot of codes. You know, we have. Yeah. Like, I'll just. It's way over a hundred thousand codes to give away. So we're <laughs> oh, happy to God. give people stuff. Yeah, I mean, um, people, you know, most of our stuff is name your price, and people usually pay a dollar. Um, you know, the purpose of that is just getting stuff out for people to hear and listen to, and um, you know, we do we sell cool records like splatter yeah. vinyl. That's kind of where we try to make our money. Shirts and stuff like that. You know. I mean, as a business, you're trying to make money anywhere you can. Yeah. Like it's 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 really <laughs> it's really challenging to compete with. Um, there's a ton of labels. There's tons of cool stuff coming out. There's tons of shit I want to buy. <laughs> you know, that's right. where my challenge is all the time. Is I can only buy so much that I it doesn't matter how much. There, there'll never be enough to buy all the stuff I want. To <laughs> right, it's true. Well, yeah, especially with as many people as we've talked to and stuff, and it's like, yeah, yeah. it just gets a hundred a year. You know, 100, 150 people a year buy many records. Like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to take out about five thousand dollar loan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my credit card is at six grand. My wife is. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I know. So that's you know that's kind of the thing is we're. We're trying to put stuff out and make it affordable for the fans to buy stuff, you know? Absolutely. And it's and it seems kind of like that becomes just a full-time job of selling records, so selling merch, everything else. Then you got to, you know, and being creative on top of that. Oh, you, you know, got bring something uh, else. It is. It's a, it's a ton of work, mm-hmm. you know, but just with Ricardo and friends, um, you know, I – trying to do that as a like a, i would love to do that as a full-time thing if we could get a series you know to where we could do six to eight episodes it could be a cartoon there's tons of merchandise i mean that's kind of you know yeah yeah you know, i told my yeah. wife i said the spun you know the guy who invented spongebob you know he's like i'm gonna do spongebob square pants he's this guy <laughs> you know people are like this guy is, no. this guy is fucking what is wrong with this guy yeah you know? big cramps fan and he was nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You Steven know, so. Newenberg. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. So I think. Anyways. Yeah. Well, I would certainly put a werewolf Gary uh, <laughs> somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, like a doll? I know. Like, that. <laughs> like a do- I know. I was trying to, we were trying to figure that out. Yeah. Um, you know, because these, you know, these dolls are crazy looking. Um, they're they're a lot of work. These guys hand yeah. stitch all this clothing. Anastasia and her, I don't know if she's still with them, but her boyfriend, her friend, he you know he created all of Werewolf Gary's clothes, and it's all like sewn leather and wow. you know punk rock looking sweaters and shit. Like it's <laughs> yeah. really, really super cool. And um, yeah, that's Anastasia Rodina is her name, and uh, yeah, cool. she kind of lives out in the forest and does her thing. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, man, we, we we love her. Her work is awesome. So I mean, I'd, I'd love to talk to her sometime just to see. Yeah. You know, don't know much about yeah. that work. I, I don't think I would have the patience for it. But uh, oh, I'm yeah. hear about the process. Yeah. yeah, she's basically sewing stuff together all day long, and she yeah. does other things. You know, she does other videos for people for bands, and she'll do. Um, she has her own character. Um, named Bob and he's like an interdimensional character and he he makes appearances in people's videos he basically lives (laughs) on some planet and 
comes across these waves <laughs> on, <laughs> Earth on his TV and watches this shit. So we're we're making a commercial for that right now, and right um, you know where where Bob comes across Ricardo and friends, you know, yeah, yeah. You got we've been like, working on. I mean, we well we've been trying to work on a separate show uh, with the illustrious oh. Tressa Slater uh, and mu- and <laughs> puppets involved. Oh my god, planning this has been a nightmare. With puppets, um, with puppets, with puppets. We've we've got we've all got like puppet versions of ourselves. Yeah. So we're, hey, oh, I'll grab my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a moment. Okay. All right. Let's see it. All right, <laughs> guys. There's John Jr. He's over here. Sean. Um. Man, that's a nice office chair you got there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, is, uh, where is, oh my uh, god where <laughs> oh my god. Where, oh, did you where did you get these um this is John Deere. I got them through puppets.com uh it's a good company well you know I mean you're talking about 50 bucks puppet it's not bad um I added okay. the beer okay uh, I got a I got to, I'm sorry. It's called what.com. What's math? Uh-huh. BB. This is ETS. And there's math puppet. Dot com. He needs a little. Oh, dude. Yours. Yours straight up looks like a fucking guy in the alley trying to sell you drugs. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yours uh-huh. looks like a mad scientist and yours looks like, and he has, does he have a Wu-Tang shirt on too? Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> John Jr. Oh. usually has a cigarette. You guys. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. We need to do what? this. We need to do something. We need to. We, we, yeah, um, we've got like a. You guys we've got some ideas. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll collaborate. Sure. Mm. You know? That's so yeah. funny. Because yours has a hat on, too. That, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's got wow. a stocking cap. I was trying to find it, but it's not in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, that looks even more like it when he puts that cap on. Let me see. It's hilarious. I and mean, I think yours was, wasn't yours like an originally a uh, uh, like Joseph. A that, was a fun, that was fun. You guys caught me off guard there. Yeah, they're sitting right here. Um, we could do a bunch of show and tell about weird shit in our offices. But, but yeah, it's, it, we're trying to work on. I mean, we uh, had a character of like Mothman Steve. Um, I have another little Mothman. <laughs> Uh, you know, he's tired of being called Mothman. Uh, he has a name. It's Steve. Wow. <laughs> uh, see, yeah, you guys see see what I'm saying? It's just that's it, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. uh I'm sure you I, guys got your own puppets. That's fucking amazing. Wow. I'm gonna check out that website. We gave them a shout out and didn't even realize it, but man, that's that's great. Puppets is great, yeah. And I mean the good thing about that particular oh, company is once you buy it. It becomes your so it's not like buying a Kermit the Frog puppet where you could say something online that would be yeah. super inappropriate and they could sue you. It's like no, once you purchase it, you own the rights to it. Mm-hmm. You make it say whatever you want. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I was wondering because I saw people were having puppet. You know, they had puppets and stuff online. I'm like, well, those are neat. I wonder how you would. Mm. I've actually yeah. met some puppet people that worked at that the Elmo. You know, on the Elmos. I mean, these guys, uh-huh. they worked on the Dark Crystal, like not the original one. Right on. Right? But the, the, new, yeah, yeah, the, the new series. One. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, they were, they did like kids parties and stuff. It was really cool. cool. I love all that stuff, you know. I, <laughs> you know, I do oh, well. Too. Yeah. Um, and we had, yeah, we had so many like disgusting ideas. Oh, um, so many, <laughs> so many. <laughs> So many. It's 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 not PG. It's but nowhere yeah. even close. It's One was going to be a hand puppet of just like an extra large condom with a couple of uh, like you know <laughs> googly eyes <laughs> on it. Um, Mr. Shakes, the Mr. Shakes is going to be made out of a you know an adult toy. So, um, oh my! Wow! So, <laughs> wow! So what do you guys? Uh, that what is that wonder shows in or something on Instagram? They kind of use puppets and do all this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a great it's real show. Twisted, like they yeah. make kids say really weird shit. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, but um, somehow they just ride that similar. line where it's, yeah. it's not super, like, you know what I mean? Super offensive, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, maybe you guys could do like some cool skits and, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I think I could think of at least a few. One of my favorite characters is was one that Matt came up with uh, was the Tamponable Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be all nothing but tampons. It was just going to be a tampon... Maybe maxi pads to like with fill, googly you know. eyes. Yeah, <laughs> strings hanging out. Oh my god! It was just like super emotional and gets upset very fast. And, um, <laughs> you know, crazy oh chocolate god. a lot. Oh wow, um, that is <laughs> holy shit! That is offensive. <laughs> oh, it is really. It gets worse. It gets. Yeah. It gets, it gets well, worse. You know, hey, hey, it was just an idea. We didn't act on right. it. It didn't happen yet. And uh, <laughs> oh, wow. But I don't know. I mean, guys. we have a we have um, a female comedian on the show, uh, you know, and, and one of them. She's okay with it. She's hilarious. Yeah. Yes. She thought it was funny. Oh, it's all in fun. Yeah, it's all in fun. <laughs> and she it speaks is- for all women. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's, um, but well, yeah, that's writing cool. that line's hard, but I think we could do it. Yeah, that that's that's yeah. I'd love to see what you guys are. We'll uh, we'll yeah. play. We'll put it on our. You know, we we'll put it on our YouTube page or something. Oh, that's that's awesome! Great. Yeah. And hey, if we, we need to borrow a puppet for the movie, they just stick it in the back. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been trying to figure ours. figure out how to sort of interject, um, kind of old school like DJs from MTV <clears throat> on our YouTube page between videos to have you know announcers and stuff. I don't know if like going forward. I've got an idea for Kale. He could be like a aging rocker that doesn't wear a shirt, like just just like a leather vest and shit. And he could smoke. <laughs> His ashtray could be really full. And he'd be like, "Would you like that video?" <laughs> something could be real nasty or something. Like, "Hey kids, did you like that video?" Right, almost like a Adam Curry meets Krusty the Clown. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like nobody smokes anymore. You know? <laughs> right. Um, you know, so we've got, get some ideas and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I, well, I think that's the best part of it is the deadpan humor, you know, uh, <laughs> it was so good. Keep him straight in yeah. the shorts. Yeah. So yeah, man, totally looking forward. Um, okay. Well, you talked about Tad doing the soundtrack and shit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Tad's in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but what about what's going on with the label and, you know, yeah, All so we other got, work you had to do. Sure. Yeah, you know, well, like I said, we've been working on the YouTube page and we kind of got our dot com together. Our old dot com sort of went away and we had to rebuild the Shopify page. So we've been working on that. Mm-hmm. Our band camp is always, you know, like a work in progress. Um, but we've got some vinyl coming out this year. Uh, I think people already know that run, the Runt vinyl is coming out. Um, yeah. Yeah, They're kind of a you know that mysterious kind of California. We don't really super want. mysterious. Yeah, we've I been trying you, to... and you wouldn't tell me anything about them whatsoever. No, like, <laughs> like we we don't like we don't. Know. Are you under like an NDA? No, <laughs> no, you just no, don't even know. No, no, we we're like <laughs> we're like snooping around stuff. Like we're a little suspicious right now, but not really. Uh huh. Um. And then we have we've got a bunch of we've got a bunch of stuff coming out. We have a new Vove Scare on EP yeah. coming out on Bandcamp Friday, which is this Friday, which you Sweet. know people if they can go out and support. Um, that's you know when the bands don't have to pay fees to band, yeah. you, you know, to sell mm-hmm. CDs right. or T-shirts or whatever merch they're selling. Um, <clears throat> we recently signed a band called Dark Shaman. They're an Italian band uh playing like heavy metal kind of doomy stuff and they have an album coming out and they're on tour in like bulgaria they're going on tour in bulgaria mm-hmm. and eastern you know all this eastern european places which is cool for us yeah. I don't, you know they're gonna advertise us when they do that selling right. records and everything um let's see we've got might have a new Dungeon Weed album this year. That's kind of oh, nice. Yeah. Um, Rack are doing a new album, so we've got that. Um, we're putting out vinyl by a, a dude named Haas who lives in Sweden. He's kind of a noise rock yeah. guy. We've got that coming out. Um, got a whole bunch of shit. I mean, our our um, 
our schedule is pretty packed <laughs> every year. We're like, like it. we're like, all right, we're going to, you know, yeah. shorten the schedule here, but <laughs> yeah, we never do. Yeah. Most of <laughs> like we're working really hard just to make this record. You're like, well, I'm going to make 10 records and then I'm going to make a movie. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, uh, um, coming out of the gate of the pandemic, boy, yeah. that sucked, didn't it? It did. Yeah. It did, but I think um, it put a lot of stuff in perspective. Yeah, for people like, what do you really want to? What do you really want to do? Mm. It gave what people you... some time, not just perspective, but some time to really reflect. Yeah, know, yeah. I but you're right. People... I, I see bands and, and people I know mm. who are coming out with ideas and projects that yep. you obviously could tell. And they're not like pandemic projects or, you know, being sad or anything They're, but their products or projects that you can tell wouldn't happen unless they had so much time to ruminate on them. Well, you people know? had, yeah, people had time and it was like a doomsday right. kind of, kind of situation, you know? Um, and I think a lot of people just really thought about like, Hey, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write some songs. I'm going to make a comic book or do a sculpture or whatever. I think people got a handle on that real quick. Like, all right, now is my time to do this or I'm going to be depressed and just drink all the time or eat like an entire pan of brownies or something, you know, I don't know. That's killer. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I know what you mean for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so this film is going to be awesome, and you know you guys will be mentioned in the credits. Oh, that's awesome. fucking fantastic! That's exciting. You know, you're you're uh, this dude, uh, this dude on on Noise Rock now, and I can't think of his name right now, and I'm ashamed that I can't think of his name. But he's really cool. I thanked him. He wrote this really cool write up about supporting, you know, the label and me and the whole project and all this stuff. But he called it the Ricardo and Friends Cinematic Universe. AKA Raph, <laughs> Raph Ricardo and Friends Cinematic Universe. Yeah, yeah Raph Koo. Yeah, Raph Koo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was awesome. I was like, Raph Koo? Oh my God, dude, that is awesome. <laughs> Ricardo and Friends Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going to be cool. I, I just love, you know, different universes like that and seeing just yeah. like, the background. It's like, what's. What well, is this place? We we need something longer. You know, we, we yeah, yeah, because you know the world is kind of horrible right now. There's there's tons of war right. and shit, and, and you know I'm just kind of trying to create something that people can escape into and go. You know, it's weird. It's a cartoon, but I like it so much. I can identify with the characters, and <clears throat> I like the scenery. It's it's totally non Western. It's you know mm -hmm. it's a Eastern European style. It's it's escapism. It's important right, right now. Well, and it's so cool that you're actually doing it because that's the sort of thing that, you know, a lot of people, it's easy to say, man, I'd like to do that. That'd be cool to do one day. I could totally do that. And then we never do. And I think that's most people, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. so to actually say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do this for real. Yeah. You know, I bet that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. You know, it's about, you know, finishing the project and, that's hard for me too. I got always have a lot of irons in the fire, but this one, I just decided, Hey, you know, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get some people involved. I'm going to raise the money to do it. I'm just going to go in a hundred percent and it's been good. But like, you know, like I said, uh, the money is like, we're half basically halfway there. Yeah. And this shit is pretty good though. Yeah. That's we're, good. Yeah. But I mean, when, when, when did you start the launch or like the announcement for, it's only been a couple of months, hasn't it? It's been, it's been up for one month. <clears throat> one month, and you're halfway yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And we have we have thirty one thirty one days left. Hmm. So, um, you know, I've been, yeah. doing, I've been I've been doing cosplay and shit too, trying to get <laughs> yeah, you know. But like I said, right. we're trying to get some people to, you know, maybe buy a character of themselves or whatever. Right. Like, there's like this cool city center scene where there's like, I don't know how many, 12, 12 characters in there moving around. I mean, it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of work for her. It's, it's going to be, um, I mean, that's almost the centerpiece. 
uh, with all yeah. the shopkeepers and shit, and like Werewolf Gary's like on a chain and shit, <laughs> like, flinching at people and shit. <laughs> so yeah. uh, you know, and he's eating like a huge piece of meat on a bone, and like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, everybody just has to go to Forbidden Place Records. They'll get some of the shorts. And yeah. The context will make sense to you. Yeah. On our, yeah. our YouTube page has all the shorts. There's a, a playlist there. You can watch them all in a row. And there's a couple other, you know, some shorts on there and stuff that we did. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you can see it all there. Yeah. Um, How's Kale doing? He's good. Yeah. He's doing good. Good. Um, his band is working on a new album. You know, he's in Melting Human Trash, so that yes. they're, they're working on some new stuff. Cool. And, <clears throat> yeah, um, he's doing good. Good, you good. Know, he, uh, he does a lot of the operations with the label and stuff, and, uh, you know, he's – I don't know if you guys knew or not, but he like he's a logger, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's, like, daytime, daytime I don't gigs, know how but... you guys, like, keep up with all that you do. We work yeah. all the time. I mean, we just you know, <laughs> we just work all the time on stuff. You know, we try to like keep that shit even. There's a lot of work, you know. So yeah. it's hard. It's yeah, hard we you awesome. try to divide it up and and keep it, you know, keep it even. It's it's hard though. There's a lot. I mean, there's a ton of shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, we are looking forward to it, man. Good. Um, yeah. Super looking forward to it. Uh-oh be great to see um yeah, me too i'm excited honestly, too. you should be like documenting 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 yes <laughs> term. like but what's going on behind the scene because i think a lot of people don't really um always know how much work goes into it and then it's also really interesting i think when so, you find like little, little details are you guys yeah. doing something like that Yeah, kind of. Um, she, we're trying, I'm trying to get all this footage and kind of keep it together, but it's, it's hard to make a movie while you're making a movie. (laughs) Right. (laughs) right. Get this footage and show what I can, um, so that people can see the craftsmanship that goes into this in the artistry because there's not a lot of computer stuff. Yeah, yeah. The the background sometimes will have like a foggy background with a cemetery kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But then all the props and everything in there she's made by hand. Yeah. Um <clears throat> you know, um uh, Ricardo's apartment we, we built, we're going to probably build that out. Um you know, he has like a condo in in a castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so nice. <clears throat> Yeah, we're we're in the process of building sets right now. Um, it, I mean, it looks there's some uh, there's some cool stuff going on. We're we're building a, a, a character that somebody paid for. Um, my friend Jose, he's like a biker guy, and is, you know his motorcycle's on fire, and just you know, <laughs> <laughs> so um, a lot of cool cool. She's like a kind of a biker guy, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you guys will, you'll dig it a lot. Now nice. we just, you know, I, I need like night flight to pick it up Ooh, or adult yeah. swim. Yeah. You know, yeah. So they can just like, uh, you know, invest in a, you know, full series or something. Yeah. You know, eight God, episodes or something. I love adult swim series. Um, everything they've done. We've actually got uh, an upcoming guest for uh, an adult swim Actor, uh, Carrie Means, oh, uh, cool. voice of Frylock and uh, of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Okay, now you guys are fucking with me now, right? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, yeah. well I mean, wow. I've been talking to him, I'm trying to line up a date. Um, okay, so you're Frylock? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Carrie Means. Sounds been working it out. I've just yeah. been like, yay. <laughs> or Thunderglees. Same wow. <laughs> Character from the Brack Show. Wow, that is fucking. That is wow. I'm looking forward. <laughs> I'm, to I'm it. impressed. That is I'm uh, looking forward pretty to it. fucking crazy. You guys, <laughs> some of the Good. yeah, the stories, just what I hear externally about Adult Swim in those days was just nuts. You know, because yeah, would that have been early 2000s when they were shooting those? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't think of the guy's name, but somebody just got 
like the rights for a lot of Hair Barbera can- characters and shit went public. Um, nobody paid for them, like Brack and Space Ghost, and um, yeah, that's that's what happened with Space Ghost. Was exactly just, a couple of guys were just like, oh wait, oh shit, this the, this just ran out. The copyright ran out. We're gonna right. buy Space Ghost really fucking cheap, yeah, and then and they bought it for next to nothing. Want to with it, right? <laughs> so then they bought the rights oh. to it, and they're like, we can make him say whatever we want. We can make so him that's do whatever where we want. Space, space goes coast to coast. Yeah, yeah, and it was a big influx of money just in general for Adult Swim. And, <laughs> yeah, he'd be uh, like, he'd be like, he'd be like in his spaceship, <laughs> like listening like really soft music. Right. <laughs> oh, it's great. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> his brains. Man, anything else you want to plug or anything? No, not really, guys. It was nice catching up with you. I'm excited to see your your puppet show here. This is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll get it up so, in the next couple of years. Yeah. We'll, yep. Yeah. So, uh, wow. We no, no. I. I'm, no, it's really good to talk to you guys. Um, thanks for letting me uh, do my thing here. So. Yeah, yeah. You too, it. man. It's good so to see you. you. Are you yeah, you, you guys. Through you Missouri guys, when you're when you're driving between there and Denver. I have gone that way before, but not mm. not anytime soon. But I have, okay. you know, I have done that. It's gonna say, yeah, let me know. I'll buy you beer. We're or, both right on I seventy. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, sure. Yeah, that sweet. sounds awesome. I'd love to meet you guys. I really would. Sweet. Person. Yeah, sweet. we're getting closer. At least we can see each other now. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Cool. Well, thank you for letting me get on and plug some stuff. I appreciate it. No, oh, man. man. It's great to with you. Brilliant right, idea. Guys. Brilliant. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. We're a brilliant person. Doing. Thank you, Tony Willis from you got it, Forbidden guys. Place Records for joining us on Undetermined the Podcast. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks Bye-bye. for having me, guys. See ya. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>